guys, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking all things trends. Really sorry if you can hear the dog, he's just walking around. So before I was a full-time content creator, I used to be a casual wear fashion designer and part of the job was to look at all the trends when they came out and create mood boards and it would take days. So you would literally see every single trend and fine tune it down um, for our customers. So. I've actually really missed doing that. As we're now going into autumn, winter, I thought what I'd do is kind of collate a few, obviously not as many mood boards as I used to do, but I've gone through the catwalk to find some trends that I'm gonna be wearing this year and thought I could share with you guys. So some of them, I wouldn't even say they're trends. I'd probably call them more like classic timeless trends because they come out every year, but I wanted to include them in this because I'm gonna then show you how I styled them last year and then kind of encourage you guys to get out old pieces to then wear again. And me just introducing you guys to what is coming through and things that I'm really loving at the minute. So I'm actually gonna start with something that I'm wearing. So this is my newest edition and my first knitwear piece of the season actually. So this is from Kos and the trend I'm gonna talk about is cutouts. So because I do have a minimalist style, these little details just elevate my look and I really love when I find pieces like that that are really minimalist but they have a point of difference. So that's why I really love the cutout trend. So what I'll do, I'll share some of the images on the screen from past photo shoots that I've done, just showing you guys how I styled it for the summer and then how I'm gonna bring it into autumn winter as well. So yeah, I really loved this piece. I'll show you it in more detail on the screen because it does have a cutout at the back as well, but I think it's just such a lovely little detail to add to your knitwear because I have a lot of knitwear and they sometimes do look the same because I buy the same colors, but I wanted something with a point of difference and I feel like this cutout detail is a really classy way to show a little bit of skin in the winter months and it's not too much that you're gonna be absolutely freezing because you've still got your sleeves as well. When I was looking on the catwalk, I noticed that Self Portrait, Givenchy and Stella McCartney were three of the main designers embracing this trend. We've got some gorgeous dresses from Stella McCartney and Self Portrait, especially with the shoulder cutout detail as well, which I think is then translating into High Street. And then we've got the waist cutout details as well, which I really like. Those are probably my favorite places for the cutout out details is the shoulder, the chest and the waist. I just think it can look really classy. So I'm definitely going to take the cutout tops from spring summer into autumn winter by layering my blazers on top as well. I just think these look really nice for kind of like day to night wear so I'm definitely going to be embracing that. So yeah I just wanted to share that first one with you and show you this on as well because I feel like this is one of my new favorite pieces of knitwear. I absolutely love it. So for the next trend, I'm really happy about this because I have a lot of these. It is extra, extra large handbags. I'm so happy about this trend because you guys know I blooming love this bag and it's probably my biggest one in the collection. So we've seen a lot of these bags on the catwalk from Malayne Birger and Jill Sander and I just love the oversized handbags. They fit everything in and if the weather's so crazy like it is here in the UK, you always need an extra layer. So you can throw your knitwear in there, throw your jacket in there and it fits in because it's nice and big. So one of the main styles that is kind of leading the way is the oversized shopper. And this again is a new purchase from me because I saw this on COS and fell in love with it. So this is made from recycled materials and is this gorgeous textured shopper bag. It's absolutely huge. You could fit everything in it. And the great thing about this as well is that it's got a zip. So you could really take this out in the rain and know that your stuff will be safe and secure and not gonna get absolutely soaked. So I know the more smaller sized bags were a big trend for summer, but it's something that I kind of didn't really get on board with just because I can't fit everything in. I'm one of these people who likes to overpack. Even if I'm going on a night out, I have to have a large clutch. So this is when the, the moi bag came in handy for me as well. So you will have seen this on my recent YouTube video and I know this isn't classed as an extra, extra large bag, but it is large for a clutch size and it just fits everything in. So this is kind of my step up from the smaller clutch to this larger size as well. I think this is a trend that's probably not gonna go away for me. I'll always have these bags in my wardrobe and always reach for them in the autumn winter months. 
Next up, we've got the puffer and padded jackets. Now, this is a trend that I fully embraced last year, especially with lockdown and all the daily walks. I needed something to be really snug and warm, and I think I invested in about two puffer jackets. I'll share them both on here so you can see. For me, they have been around a lot longer than just last year, especially being a designer, I've noticed them on the catwalks a lot more from the past few years, especially the really oversized kind of cropped ones as well that you'll see from Isabel Morant this year. I absolutely love those. I think they look gorgeous. But for me, I do prefer the kind of longer line ones. So this is my newest edition. This is from Mango. And again, I'll show you this one on. And it is super light. It's in this really soft poly fabric. And we've got the lovely diamond quilting on here as well. And I really love the collar detail of this. You can either have it folded in or outwards as well. It's very similar to the Arquette ones, but this was just slightly cheaper. I think this one was 70 or 80. I'll link it below so you can see. But this comes in black and cream as well. But I wanted to invest in a khaki one because I already have a black and cream puffer coat. So this was another new addition. So this one is water repellent as well. So this will be great for going out and about in Manchester and going home to the lakes. And I got this in a extra small, I think. No, I got this in a small, but it goes down to extra, extra small because it is super oversized. You will see on how oversized it is, but I really like that style. I think I want to embrace the oversized kind of snug trend this year and the other great thing about it being oversized is you can layer your knitwear underneath as well. Another gorgeous jacket that I've seen recently is from the Frankie shop and it is beautiful. I think it's sold out everywhere because I tried to get it, but this is more of an oversized fit as well. But I really like the cut of this. Again, it's just another throw on jacket. So I have my eye on this, but we'll just have to see. I need to kind of rein myself in this year with buying coats because that is my downfall. When it comes to autumn, winter, I buy far too many coats. So fabric wise, we're also seeing a lot of this trend in the leathers and faux leathers, which I really like as well in the gorgeous neutral tones. And of course, classic blacks as well. I also really love the different types of stitching that's coming through. So the Frankie shop one is completely different to the mango one. And then we've got the traditional padded stitching as well. So it really depends on what kind of style you want to go for. I feel like puffer jackets are always going to be around, but more so this year, they're going to be a lot more oversized. Now, this next trend is possibly my favorite because it is my style down to a T and it is casual tailoring in the form of suits. So. We're seeing a lot more of the relaxed vibe, oversized blazers and slouchy trousers, and I am so here for it. I'm so looking forward to styling suits again this season and mixing and matching them with each other as well to give that really relaxed, kind of effortless vibe, but you still look really chic and classy as well. So we're really seeing some strong suits from the likes of Stella McCartney, Victoria Beckham and Nina Ritchie. Really loving all the tonal suits that are coming through as well. Of course, you know, I'm a neutral lover. So they're great to mix and match with each other. This particular one is from Warehouse and I'm in love with it. I think it's so chic. The fabric is stunning and I really love the belted style of the blazer as well. Again, I could wear this with my black wide leg trousers. So I just wanted to touch on some of the colours that are coming through that I'm really loving as well. So obviously neutrals, I will always have a neutral suit in my wardrobe to mix and match with. But I'm really loving the hints of navy and cornflower blue as well. Like I said in my previous YouTube videos, blue is going to be a predominant colour in this autumn winter and it's something I'm definitely going to be embracing. Especially teaming it with cream and camel, I just think it looks super chic and you can't go wrong. So next up we've got head to toe knitwear, which is something I fully embraced last year, especially during lockdown. I had the jumper and wide leg cohorts and it just really elevated my loungewear and it was something I wore out as well. I put my camel coat on top and my nude winter boots and I felt so comfy and ready for winter. So again, the full knitwear looks are back, whether it be in a co-ord or a maxi style dress. So I'll share on the screen as well a few of my looks from last year that I wore in the house and outdoors as well. One of my favourite sets that I got last year was from Pretty Lavish and this is the asymmetric style top with the matching skirt as well. I love styling these with my winter boots and layering my trench coat on top. 
So we've seen these head to toe knitwear looks from the likes of Fendi and Chloe, two of my favorite designers. They always pull it out of the bag every year and they're guaranteed to have some gorgeous knitwear in their collections. Keeping in with the head to toe trends, another one that I'm loving is head to toe brown. We're seeing a lot of these head to toe brown looks from the likes of Chloe, Proenza Schooler and Melaine Bierger. Now I know this might not seem a groundbreaking trend for autumn because brown always comes around every year but the head to toe brown looks I just absolutely love. I did embrace these quite a lot last year as well, I'll share on here and pairing different tones of browns also looks incredible. So I love pairing black and brown together as well, I think it can just look super classy and I love those dark tones together. So the next trend which is something I love to do in the autumn winter months and is absolutely necessary living in the UK and it's layers on layers. It's not just simply putting a t-shirt on, putting your jumper on and then a coat. These are all new elements that you can add in to elevate your look. So for instance, adding a high neck with a shirt, then a blazer and then your jacket. It's just these different levels of layering that are going to really elevate your look and adding some jewellery on there as well as an extra layer is something that I love to do. So we're really seeing some great layering looks from the likes of Alberta Ferretti, Tori Birch and Jill Sander. So I'm no stranger to tailoring and layering. I absolutely love doing it, but I understand you want to be able to do it without feeling too bulky as well. So I've seen some beautiful pieces from weekday. We've got the little waistcoats that are really on trend at the moment, which you can then put a shirt underneath or a blazer on top and then your coat as well. So they're kind of like fine layers that aren't gonna really bulk out a lot as well. One of my favorite looks to layer with is the roll neck. I love styling the roll neck with either a shirt or a blazer or literally just the roll neck, the shirt and then a coat. It's all about playing around with different layers. But one of my looks, I really love layering the high neck with the shirt then my trench and then popping the knit jumper over the neck and giving it a tie at the front. I love the granddad style jumper technique. I think it just takes out the bulk of the outfit, but then you've also got a little bit of print to work with to split up the neutral tones. And finally, the chunky boot. So this was definitely a trend I embraced last year as well. I invested in these Zara ones and they are super chunky and are great Prada dupes. I will try and link some similar below, but I lived in these. I'll share a few of my favorite looks on here as well. But this boot is not going away. It's gonna be a boot that I'm gonna wear with so many of my looks. So we've seen the chunky boot on the catwalk a lot this year from the likes of Ganny, Jill Sander, Loewe, Givenchy, all of them are just embracing the chunky boot trend. Especially since the Pradas came out last year, they've been so, so popular. And also I wore a lot of these, which sits just below the knee, which I think is a really great style to wear, especially if you're petite as well, like me. I am obsessed with these. These actually need a clean now because I wore them so much last year. So these are from New Look, but I will link some similar below. They may even bring them out again this year, which I'm, I would be surprised if they didn't because they're so popular again. And they're just a style that I will wear time and time again in the autumn winter months. They're just not gonna go anywhere. So there we go, guys. They were my top eight trends that I'm embracing for autumn winter. Like I said at the start of the video, a lot of these trends are kind of timeless and classic and are always going to be a staple in your wardrobe, whether that be knitwear, boots or the puffer coat. But I just wanted to share with you the ones that I'm going to be wearing and just encourage you guys to maybe look back in your winter wardrobe and see what you've got, which you can take out again and style differently. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'll link everything below and if you have any questions, just pop it in the comments box or drop me a DM on Instagram. Take care guys, I'll see you soon.